What if you could tap the power of waves? Believe it or not, overseas, they're already doing it. Yeah, and in a few years, that power will run your TV, perhaps. It may come from that ocean. On Wednesday, our own Dave Malkoff took us to the Oregon coast for a first-hand look at this new energy plan. Well, this morning, Dave takes our cameras inside the lab and the science behind the waves. Trapped in ocean waves around the planet, there could be enough power to run two Earths. Two Earths? Two Earths? That's the estimate, but the problem has always been converting waves into electricity. Electricity. Until now. So spring of 2013, we'll have this in the water. We're in a factory in Washington State where ocean power technology In the black section is underwater. Is building an enormous ocean wave power plant. It, the structure of it's really pretty simple. The float is very similar to a donut because it's a donut shape that just fits right, right around this cylindrical spar. The floating donut turns the generator that creates electricity. So this long structure is that back there, right? Exactly. Michael Kelly wants his company to be the first to connect ocean waves to American neighborhoods. One of these buoys will provide the power for about 100 homes. And they're licensed for 10 of these. Connect them to an undersea substation, you could ultimately power 1,000 homes. Meteorologists and oceanographers are able to tell in advance what the wave climate's going to be. It's not as cyclical as, say, wind. The problem is this wave generator technology is moving much faster than the power companies are ready to handle. So they have to take the electricity coming from that big monster and plug it into what's basically a big toaster that will take the electricity and put it out into the ocean as heat. The one that we're going to see is called Wet NZ, Wave Energy Technology New Zealand. Wet NZ and several other companies want to do the same thing. Some wave power plants are already online in Europe, but this clean energy does have its drawbacks. I guess the best places to put something like this are also the best places to fish as well. Right. It is you know fishing is a con you know the fishing community has concerns about this. What would be what is going to be the impact of generating electricity out there on on you know fish migrating through? The governor of Oregon wants his state to lead the way, but first, the industry has to prove these generators work in deep water. We've never had one sink. Yeah. Other people in the industry have had them yeah. sink. Uh, Ocean Power Technologies has not. The ocean is a wet, stormy, windy, salty place. That's why we're still a few years away from tapping the power of waves into your home. Off the coast of Oregon, I'm Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel. That is a really cool report. I, absolutely, and the stand-ups, I'm impressed, no seasickness. <laughs> we call those well, stand-ups that we see, know of. That's yeah. exactly. Still ahead, remnants of last weekend's heavy rainfall continuing to plague the Pacific Northwest, and these storms heading east.